Hello fellow Steamians and DLive stars, this be Jake. Today I am going to make a contribution to the Community Created Help Center by showing everyone how to take their PlayStation 4 footage and broadcast it with OBS with the help of the PlayStation 4 Remote Play application. There are a few benefits to this. Uh, for starters, the standard PlayStation 4 kit doesn't even allow you to stream onto DLive. I know, that is crazy. But your only options for streaming with this standard kit is Twitch, YouTube, and Daily Motion. So, obviously, you can't just stream out of the PlayStation by itself. The second benefit to streaming this way is that you can play your PlayStation 4 while having your favorite Spotify playlist or YouTube or D sound playlist going on in the background and your audience can hear it too. And with the levels all balanced, they'll appreciate it and think, Oh, Hey, this is a really cool chill stream you got going on here. So that's the second advantage. And then the third advantage is that you actually get to use your D live labs in your PlayStation 4 stream. So yeah, those are some really good benefits to that. All right, so what you will need is a PlayStation 4 and a TV. Um, those will be what you need first, obviously. And then you will need a PC of decent quality. And by decent quality, I mean something that can run both open broadcaster software and PlayStation 4 Remote Play. Uh, keep in mind that you can only install PlayStation 4 Remote Play on Windows and Mac, so those will be your only two options. Sorry, Linux people. So OBS Studio is the program that enables you to capture and stream your recordings in the first place. So there are plenty of tutorials on OBS that you can look up. Um, it might be better that way, but just for starters, Click on the OS that you want to use. And then there's PlayStation 4 Remote Play. And trust me on this, you will want to follow the guide because there are going to be possibly small details that you'll want to do. And the, PlayStation, the PS4 Remote Play guide is good. It's thorough. It will tell you everything you need to know. And the links to both of these are in my Steemit blog. Okay, so once you have OBS and PlayStation 4 Remote Play installed on your computer, you'll want to open up. Actually, what you'll want to do first is I'll close. I don't know if I close out. Okay. <laughs> All right. This kind of puts me in a pickle because I can't both record and do this at the same time. But you'll actually want to open up PlayStation 4 Remote Play first. And then you'll want to plug your micro USB cord into your PlayStation 4 controller. And then go ahead and press start in the controller or press start on your the computer like I've done here. And this window will come up with your gameplay in here. So next you'll want to do is click the display full screen because it won't display correctly in OBS. It will look way too small. So you'll want to do this, make sure this takes up the full screen and then press alt tab. You'll want to have like a window open. So go ahead and pretend uh, that OBS isn't open. So we're, we'll open up my browser here and then you'll want to launch OBS. Uh, oh, you got this going on here. That's fine. Just pretend there's you're setting up a new thing. Um, it's kind of weird. to It's a meta recording. Anyway, you'll want to open up PlayStation 4 first, and then Alt-Tab your browser in, and then open up OBS, because that's how I found everything will run more smoothly that way. And then let's move this window. Pretend it's not here. Uh, close this browser source. So pretend this isn't here. We're going to click this button, this plus button, and we'll click window capture. 
and then you will name it so ps4 click ok you will look for playstation 4 remote play and here it is and click ok um, I actually don't know if yeah this should be right no display capture what uh, I'll flip this up I don't know but I've added it I've typed it up and hopefully it doesn't mess with everything but that's what that'll look like and then you can go ahead and mess with your settings and get that right again treat this part like a normal you'll you'll know this part if you kind of look at normal obs tutorials and get the right bit rates and stuff but that's kind of the basis basics of importing your ps4 gameplay into obs to stream it in the first place and i'll go ahead and show you how the stream looks all right, so this is how the stream looks. I kind of have my stream on lower quality for now just to make sure that my streams are stable because for the most part, you can all kind of see what I'm doing. I'm running around, I'm punching this minion here, and I feel like it's a good starting point. The stream ran well, um, never got any complaints of everything being glitchy or anything so uh if you're looking for setting recommendations uh, i think i have my base canvas and obs is like 1080p and then i'm streaming it down to i have it scaled down to 720 and um i think i have a relatively low bit rate and yeah that's stuff for like more specific OBS tutorials, but that's kind of what I got going on here. Um, I'm sure if you tinker with it and you have better builds than I do, you can get this, you can get it looking better than this, but I'm okay with this as far as the stability. Anyway, that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. And if you have any questions, comments, or, uh, other constructive things to say then go ahead and say them and with that with that i am signing off have a good one friends